Okay, so when we're outside of the camper, there are keys for both this and the deadbolt. We don't really use the four-wheel camper one as often. We use the deadbolt a lot more often. We've got two of those keys that you can have. Right here, we've got additional storage, which you use this little guy for. A couple of those. This one keeps all of the stabilizers and everything for getting the vehicle to be level. Um, we have a fresh water hose in here. We've got some uh, stoppers for the wheels. Pretty solid place to store stuff. We have level here and a level here. Those are for when you're parking your car, so or parking the camper so you can get everything level because the refrigerator will not work optimally or the best it can unless you have this thing completely level. Um, you have an input power supply here. Um, that'll, that'll power you if you have a hookup. We have right here is your fresh water. She's locked and then it has this. Use that fresh water hose going into there for that. And then right here we have our propane tank. And this is a unique propane tank to this camper because it's uh, it lays sideways and if you needed to replace it then you can't get a different one. You have to get the same kind. So this one, you just turn it off and on here. And up here, we had the only like oh wait, real don't forget wear. about the sticker. The old emblem wore off, so Matt replaced it with his own version of it. Okay. Okay, and then under here, Papa. there's just a little bit of um, wrinkling of the vinyl underneath. Uh, I mean, I talked to the guy at Four Wheel Camper in Salt Lake and he didn't seem to be very concerned with it. Although it might be something in the next year or two that you'd want to uh, refinish. Um, but it shouldn't take more than like a coat of paint. Um, other than that... Here's the rest of the underneath part of it. Mm -hmm. And the outside of the vinyl topper. Let us know if you have any other questions or want to see anything else. Thanks.